Hey guys, Chris here. This is part two of this power add charger center using solar panels to charge it. I'm using two 50 watt Muhu solar panels wired in parallel for 100 watts. And one thing I did here was hook up a little GT power analyzer on the solar side to get a real time indication of how much power these babies are producing. High volts. <laughs> I mean, I'm almost right at VOC, which was 21.6. This thing's putting out like 20 point whatever uh, at about 38 watts. And here's the 12-2 uh, landscaping wire that I made with MC4 connector ends. Got a little inline fuse there. But the cable adapter, this little deal here, has MC4 connectors on it and a little 5.5 millimeter that plugs into the power add. It's like I don't know how much it was, 10 bucks on Amazon, but it works. When I started the day doing charging, I was at 41% on the fuel gauge there. This is 42 minutes in. Now, what I'm also doing is inverting at the same time. Now, I thought that was kind of cool with this power ad. The USB outlets don't work when you have that thing plugged in and charging. Light works. Look at there. Uh, but just a you know 15 16 watt load on here um, and I've got what 38 coming in there's a Bluetooth speaker for better sound got a little power strip there the TV and let's go around to the back side here and I'll show you my little jerry rigged antenna got a little cable amplifier going on here and sacrificed a coax cable as an antenna you know, just strip the end there so it picks up. I'm so close to the city. I just, I'm getting perfect freaking over the air high definition in this little setup here. Just something jerry rigged. You know, show others that it does work. And there's the back side of the LED TV. It's a little Samsung. I also have a Amazon Fire Stick that hooked up to it and works pretty good. Here I am grabbing my Uni T DC clamp meter to check current. Right down here, zeroing out there. Let's just throw this on here and see what we get here. About 1.8, and that jives with what the GT power analyzer at the solar panel was saying too. Cool, works. That cable, that little DC cord there, was only 22 AWG. You know, good for like seven to eight amps according to the National Electric Code. I didn't even come close to seeing that that much amperage. Maybe like two max. Okay, let me sit at 44. Can't give me ancestor DNA All right, now check this out. What I did with this video is every hour took a reading. So now I'm still inverting. At one hour, it went up 5% on the fuel gauge. And that was inverting with like a 15 watt load. So it actually was charging and inverting at the same time. So what I did is I turned off the inverter. And for the next hour, I want to see how high it goes up, see if there was a difference in charging parameters. So here's our uh, up to the second hour. So I got two hours on, on here. And now it is sitting at 64. There we go. So it went up 18%. So, oh yeah, turn that inverter off. It'll definitely, you know, increase your charge time. Or make it quicker. Okay, here's three hours in at 83. So that was a difference of, what, 19? <clears throat> and then out of the uh, solar panel, I had two of them hooked up. And then I said, well, I'm just going to disconnect one of them. It's working so good. It's not even going above 50 watts, so why not just use a 50 watt? solar panel. So I disconnected one solar panel and then took a reading on here and the voltage dropped a little bit but the power went up and or the current went up and but the watts stayed about the same. So you can use a 50 watt panel on this. You know 100 100 is great but 50 will work. And then just for uh, giggles I hooked up my oscilloscope to the inverter to check the modified sine wave and frequency is 
seven or whatever the heck it was. And then the peak to peak should read, if it was a pure sine wave 120 volt signal, should be 340 volts. I was not even close, so I'll let you look at that again and pause and you tell me. <laughs> okay, about four hours in, I was almost 100% charged up on this deal and just plugged everything back in and there it'll sit at 100% state of charge. And the solar panel is still hooked up to it and, and it's still running. Uh, this is the way I like to run it here. You know, here you got a full battery and you got the solar panels hooked up to it and you got a you know 20 watt load you can probably go up to a 40 watt load and i had my little notepad out here i was just taking some numbers you can pause and take a look at this too but uh realistically the way this thing works is that it doesn't really matter if it's a uh, so solar panels charging it a 12 volt power socket or plugged into ac it seems like it's going to be from zero to 100 it's going to take five hours so right at around 40 watts either solar AC charger or your 12 volt power socket in your car or truck is where this thing is set at. Uh, that's it's it's not going to accept anything more than that. And you can invert also. Uh, it's just going to take a lot longer to uh, charge that battery up. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later.